and his kick is indeed good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So they get the field goal here at the end of the second quarter and take the lead into the lockers. And isn't that what every team wants to do right at the end of the half, put points on the board, and go into the locker room feeling a lot better about themselves. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. So, and pump the brakes, Larry. Pump the brakes. We are ready for quarter number three. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be fielded at the eight. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards is the pick up there at a Raider first. On first and 10, here's Carr. And Reed with it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. So the offense has it first and 10. And the play clock's running down. This is Freeman on first and 10. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. Freeman again, a first down carry. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Freeman taking it in from 11 yards out. And once again, the Raiders are back out in front. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. This one fielded at the five. And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35 to make it the 40-yard line. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive. And we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Calais Campbell able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of three. Third and long. It's Newton. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. 
They will go for it. Now Newton. And James has it. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. On first and 10, Newton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Whitney Merciless able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of three. Here's Newton now on second down. James has got it, complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Newton on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one who has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Now it's Newton. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he... One of the bigger top. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Jason Witten from 10 yards out. And the Vikings have once again taken the lead. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the eight. Get a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They had seized the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago, the touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not been able to solve their opponents. So they've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Carter throw on second down. He's going to fire one deep, middle, and that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in, touchdown, Oakland. A big play there, 69 yards, and the Raiders have retaken the lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Here's Myers now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Back now in the East Bay. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. They start the drive with Peterson. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit him over the top. Got his man complete over the middle. It's James. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and in inches. And off comes to Peterson. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. We got three. 
Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And they have really been able to contain AP, and because of it, they've got the lead here in the fourth. And they've done a really nice job in this game. A lot of group tackling. Rare that one guy gets up on the ground consistently. They've done an excellent job of containing him in this game. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. On first down, Newton. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slam. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Back to the ground, Peterson. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Back to throw. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Jesse James in the final minute. And the Vikings have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Back to throw. And an alley to run. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Trying to hurry to the line on the very outskirts of field goal range. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Reed. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. He's back to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Got a short kick, taking it about the 16. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. That's caught inside the 20. And he'll be down deep into Oakland territory. 